before we get into this vlog, I'd just like to say that uh, both Jack and uh, Stout uh, arrived safely into their new owner's hands, so me and Mem wish you uh, good luck, Chuck D, and uh, I'm sure you're going to enjoy them. Thank you. Well, back at the vets again. What for this time? Well, old Brady's got a bit of a battle wound there. So we've come to get him sorted out and to buy some more smart art. So, well, and with a bit of fish food and a few dogs. Come on then. Now the little ones are about somewhere. Probably down there. Oh, I can hear them. Oh, there they are. The four. The famous four. Oh, come on then. Come on. Are you coming? Whoa. Come on then. God, probably, problem is not tripping up. Hey, look at them. He's getting a size, his uh, alpha. He's a proper little character. Aren't you? Yes. Come on then. I should have got my gimbal out. It's probably going to be a bit shaky. Come on then. Been a busy day today. Been down to Sawang to the vets to get uh, bread fitted with a plastic collar. Stopping scratching a bit wound he picked up with his battle with Bobby. But the vet said he's okay, it's healing uh, okay. Just without this collar on, he's scratching it. Obviously it's healing, so it's itchy. So he's tending to scratch a bit now then. I think we have one missing, oh here. Come on then, after you do your little poo. So I'll pop down to feed the uh, fish. Also we've been uh, quite extremely busy arranging uh, transportation of the two to go to Malaysia. They're booked in for a couple of uh, microchips next month. So, now see what happens. And instant movement. Now, you should be able to see that tree stump. Now, once she gets below that, we're looking at low, so we'll probably start pumping in. But, as stated, been busy. Lots to do. Pups wise, another litter due on Mem reckons about the ninth. Here they come. You know, these people who say, oh, don't like black. They're canny little souls. Mind, he's what it's all about, the red ones. And hopefully, now Bobby's waiting patiently is the only one of the dogs that likes to have a, a few morsels of the fish food. So, 
Now Rose is over there with one of the little ones who's running about and enjoying itself immensely. Loads of fish. So everything unky dory. I'll just chuck a bit more fish in and then concentrate on the camera. So back to the video and there's uh, Bobby. He's just nicked my uh, feeding cup. But we've got plenty of more. It's just a bloody thing from uh, these uh, pot noodles. So. Oh, don't you disappear down that hole, Alpha. Bice turned into a right character. Hmm. Yes, we've been arranging his uh, passage to Malaysia. Oh, and here's Mother Butter come down. Hmm. What you doing, Butter? You come to see your babies, see how they're getting on. Well, her undercarriage is, is retracting a little bit. She's not as heavy. So that's good. Oh, that's good. And as you can see, quite a lot of activity with the fish. But we haven't seen the old uh, golden wonder jobs. The old goldfish or koi carp or whatever Until you want to Until today. And if you can look closely, you can just see one of them uh, fish moving across there to the left. So... Look at him. Oh, Rosie, she loves a little bit of interaction with the little ones, like. She just loves it. There's another one over there. Having a good wander about, like. So that's the benefit you get dealing with us you will get correct paperwork and then it's down to you to put them into your name and whatever you want but it's uh, an easier uh, an easier job than dealing with uh, some of the breeders who can't speak uh, English so anyway that's just something to bear in mind when you're making pur purchases in Thailand through uh, breeders. I'm not trying to be uh, derogatory, but I'm just taking the, uh, uh, telling you the facts and how it is, just to make you aware of what's involved. Now, back to these uh, mites. And uh, Alpha loves playing with the big ones. And he's quite, quite a character. Mem did say, because next month he's due with uh, Chanel to go and get microchips uh, fitted uh, for going abroad into another country. So she did say they won't fit them unless they're of a certain size. Well, he's not even two months yet. And by God, is he solid? Is he solid? So, yeah, give it another month. Uh, in a few days' time. Let's get over the 25th. And give it another month, then these will be three months and they'll be entitled to get uh, microchips fitted. So, but it's a delight, look at them. Delightful little creatures. And we like to think we've given them a good start in life. Well looked after, well fed, well maintained and in a natural environment. 
where they can dig, hunt, do what they want. So I hope you've enjoyed that little rant into this, that and the other and what goes on. And on the way, he's picked up a coconut shell, which is probably half as heavy as what he is, but he's, he's got it, he's got it. The little fella's got it. Now, he's pretty boy up here at the gate with his collar on. Yes, who's that? Is that bread? So he's having a bit run out round the uh, compound. Oh, and who are you? He's another little one. I'll have to go back down and bring the rest up. So, Mem's put a bit of uh, compost into there. Now, bread showing this aggression towards his offspring. He, I don't know. He doesn't like them. He doesn't like any bugger. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, yes, that's a good lad. That's a good lad. Hopefully he's getting used to this bloody collar around his neck. Yes. And let's get that healed. I see you've got a few scars on the top of your head as well. So, uh, well, time to stop battling, lad. Yes, good boy. Rosie. Oh, hello, here's another one. Come to join. So how many have we got up here? Three. There's one down there and I presume he'll be with um, or she'll be with Bobby. <laughs>